Hi, the ho everyone. My name is Mr. Fruit and welcome to today's video, where before we get into things and learn if we've been brainwashed by the corporations, I want to take a say, whoa, Mr. Fruit, that's a sick freaking tank top. Dude. Wait, is that your logo? And it's color blocked? Yeah, like that's the, holy cow. That's awesome. I wish I could have one. But wait, you can. It's available now, the Mr. Fruit Summer Collection. Link down in the description box below. That was, a, that was a pretty good sellout, I think. Not bad. Let's get into it. We're on Sporkle. The, um, another slogan, but they, it's like the hub of like quizzes and whatnot. Why don't we together take this quiz? Play along with me, if you will. And the first one we're going to do is, can you match the given slogan to the logo of the same company, aka has their advertising worked, and have I been properly brainwashed? Let's play the quiz. Apparently, uh, we only have five minutes. It's not at my own leisure, so no pressure. Let's start. Taste the feeling. Okay, well, already off to a terrible start. Taste the feeling of M&M's. Coca-Cola's taste the feeling? I've never heard that. The need is real. The time is now. I don't even know what company that is. I don't know what company this is. Is this Sporkle? Is that? That's Sporkle. Okay, well, I don't know what Sporkle's thing is. The need is real. The time is now. Uh, I'm going to guess. Red Cross. <laughs> I got it right. Just do it. Okay, see? Nike, easy. Melts in your mouth, not in your hand. M&M's. Actually, they melt in your car. Spirit of Australia? What? It's a kangaroo. <laughs> I got it right. I was just like, well, it's a kangaroo, right? It's kind of, it's very abstract, but maybe you can see it. Nothing runs like a Ford. Nothing runs, Energizer. John Deere? That seemed like a pretty good Energizer. Okay. Nothing runs like a John Deere. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, brother? Driving matters. It does. Because that's what Subaru thinks. That's what Mazda thinks. A crown for every achievement. Okay, look for a crown. I don't know. Rolex. Okay, that one. To be fair, you know, even if I hadn't heard that and it didn't work, they did a good job with the slogan because I could immediately find the logo. Happiest place on earth, Disneyland. Think different. Penis. <laughs> Think different. Gillette. Think different. I forgot. Is this... Is this Red Bull? No, that's not Red Bull. This is Red Bull. What the fudge is... I don't know. Think different. I don't know what Cadbury is. It's Apple? That's Apple's slogan? Steve, come on. He's rolling over in his grave. Well, maybe Steve made the slogan. That's the slogan. Think different? Come on. Get an idea. I'm looking for like a light bulb maybe or uh get an idea. That might be Samsung. It's Yellow Pages. What? Who uses Yellow Pages anymore? Oh my God. What is this? Like the 1920s? Working together to create brands people love. So it's a thing that makes brands huh what is this no cadbury see i don't know what cadbury is be your way the fudge this thing burger king is burger king be your way i don't remember that you can be sure of you can you can be sure of you can you can be sure of gillette shell <laughs> a gas station has a slogan i'm loving it okay see that's easy i can even hear the ba -ba 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 -ba. confidence in motion that's Subaru. <laughs> Priceless. Priceless Pringles. <laughs> Jaguar. Mastercard. That oh that that one makes okay, yeah, fair. The art of performance. Jaguar. The best part of waking up is blank in your cup. Red Bull in your cup. Folgers, because it's coffee. That makes sense. Australian for beer. Um th this one? Foster's. Hey! Made of more. It's it's not made of less. It's made of more. I don't know some of these brands. This one. It's Guinness. Oh, that's Guinness's logo. I have no idea. Mentally stimulating diversions. <gasps> Sporkle. Ha <laughs> ha! The free encyclopedia. Wikipedia. Beyond Petroleum. Uh, what are these guys called? BP, of course. Red Bull gives you wings. See, that's a good one. Imagine Samsung. You don't just eat them. You... Is that KFC? No, it's Pringles. Go for it. Oh, fudge. I'm running out of time. Go further. Is Ford power to you? Energizer. Wait, what? Is Vodafone? What the fudge? The best of man. The best of man can challenge everything. Ah, fudge. Run out of time. Challenge everything. This? 
EA Games is what? It's in EA Games. Challenge everything. They challenge everything they make because it's trash. What? It keeps going and going and going. Energizing. More driven. Freaking, what's the last car company on here? This? Goodyear. Oh, tires. It's everywhere you want to be. Visa. Finger looking good. Impossible is nothing. 58%? Ay, ay, ay. That's bad. With four seconds left. If your score were a color, it would be beige. Is that supposed to mean something? Am I supposed to be offended at the color beige? <gasps> you think I'm beige? That's not even in my color wheel, okay? Rude. I'm thinking more like Van Dyke Brown. I don't know, I'm gonna be honest. Some of those, some of those slogans, man, really? Think different, I can't get over apples, really? It's just so, eh, you know? This is some kind of corporation thing again. Can you click the portion of the logo mashup that matches with the company or organizational name. I think it'll make more sense once we start playing, so. What? Oh, Air Jordan. What the fudge? There are so many things going on here. What? I see like Wendy's and KFs. There's Air Jordan in here? Where? I see Wendy's. What is this? That's KFC. Is this Air Jordan, technically? Oh, I bet it is. <gasps> I'm gigantic brain. LG? I have 20 seconds, what the fudge? Okay, um, LG, what the fudge? This, Captain Morgan is that, obviously. Starbucks is this, Boston Celtics, is that, apparently that. Green Giant, oh, that makes sense. Reddit, KFC, Monopoly, uh, Foot Locker, Deadpool, oh, that's dead. Wendy's. I missed, do you guys see LG? Where is L, I see Starbucks. I see Green Giant. I see Deadpool. Is that an L in the LG logo? I thought that was just something random. Okay, apparently it's that. That's stupid. And the Boston Celtics. That one was obvious. I don't know. I, I, the timer was running. I got, I panicked. I panicked, okay. Probably forgot to try Kyrgyzstan. Is that like a meme or something? Can you complete each name by matching them with the correct single letter logo from A to Z? I don't know. Let's see. This is, this is so bizarre. It's like I'm trying to flex my corporation knowledge i don't have much i kind of stay within my lane you know when it comes to pop culture and stuff yeah i'm just i'm not built different frankly M blank nil ever what okay that's zelda what in the world could this be oh nil ever you guys are probably oh my god it's this the, the little playstation the superman twitter what john not Face, what the fudge? See now, didn't what even word works with this? Unilever, that seems like the best choice. I was right. WWE, brother. And then, okay, come on, Zelda, uh, Opera, GX. Love that browser. Thanks for the previous sponsor. Uh, you that FC. That sounds like a football club or something. J it could be a J, it could be Duventus. This kind of seems like a sport logo. I was wrong. PlayStation. Circle K. Infinity. Is that Google? Oh, come on. Visa. Netflix. Internet Explorer. Rip. Anaheim sucks. <laughs> and oh, Anaheim Ducks. That's the Ducks. It has a sports logo. Twitter. Honda. Lexus. The fudge. Uh, I don't know what this is. It could be the J or the C. Uh, fudge. I'm going to say C. Apparently car four. Uh, beats electronic. Superman. YMCA. We're going to the Facebook Xbox. With some Acura. Eating McDonald's. Robin's there. Quiznos. Hey, hey. Um, what was this one? Juba, I forget which one we missed, but we only missed one. Hey, not bad. I'm scared of this. Can you pick the logo when shown the portion of the logo that contains feet? 16, I didn't even realize there's 16 logos with feet. Okay, will I even get one? Wait, I'm curious. Surprised I'm not a feet guy, you know? I know people keep telling me, Mr. Fruit, make, a, make an OnlyFans. We want feet pics, but <laughs> weirdos. <laughs> It'll be $5.99. Chelsea FC. So it's a football club. A lot of horses. That looks like a pirate, maybe. That's not football. That 
Chelsea's like a lion, isn't it? Like this thing? No? Okay. Atlanta Falcons, another that one. NBA, that's this. Burberry? If I knew what in the world kind of company that was, that might help. Kappa. You can only think of the twitchy mode. Kappa. Uh, this? Pfft, I was right. Okay. Abercrombie and Fitch. And now you mentioned I have no idea what the Abercrombie and Fitch logo looks like. Uh, that. Nope. Okay. Puma! What? Jaguar. Ah, oh, it's Jaguar. Toblerone. Oh, I, it's a mountain thing. Cincinnati Reds. It's red. Nope. Okay. ING Group? That one. Nope. DreamWorks. Oh, he's on the he's on the moon. I see it now. Lacoste. That sounds like a lion. Nope. Ferrari. I know the Ferrari one. Air Jordan. That one, right? Okay. Ford Mustang. That. Uh, wish it would tell. Oh, this is Cincinnati Reds. Puma. I see the Puma now. Burberry. I don't know what that is. Chelsea FC. I w it was a lion. You know, it was 50-50. This is ING Group. And that's Lacoste. Zeller's algorithm. Can you find out the day of the week on which you were born by following these simple instructions? Follow the instructions below carefully. If you make a mistake, let me start over. Enter the four-digit year in which you were born. Okay, 1994. Into the first three letters of the month you were born. Enter the day of the month you were born in the format D plus a two-digit date. Example, if you were born in the first, enter D01. D 14. If, and only if, you were born in either January or February of the leap year and are true, otherwise false. Yeah, that's false. Now, very carefully, add up the rightmost column of number of nu numbers and enter the total in the format sum. Example, sum, sum, oh, uh, 11. Wednesday. I wonder if that's true. I don't know. Let's see. My face is lacking it. It's Wednesday. It says Wednesday. But the the reveal is behind, behind my face. Anyway, what happened? I never, I you know, I don't know what happened on my birth date. MLB team owners vote to cancel the remainder of 1994 season, as well as the World Series for only the second time in history, continuing labor dispute with player associate. That seems pretty big. I hate baseball. Maybe that's why. Because they canceled it. Famous deaths. Sorry, I don't know who David Van Cup is. That was it, huh? Hmm. Generation millennial. I am a millennial. Yeah, that's true. I think. My Chinese Zodiac is dog. I don't know what that means. And I'm a Virgo. Maybe there's a, I'm sure there's a quiz for Virgos. Let's see. Spoilers. You now know what my Zodiac sign is. But does magic quiz know? I just looked up um, Zodiac sign. Can you guess my Zodiac sign? Can we guess your Zodiac sign based on your personality? Astrology has in... Before we start, I should just have you know, I don't believe in any of this. If you're a Virgo, you're probably a human who breathes. And somebody's like, oh my God, that's so... real. That's me. And that's the thing. It's like all so just like all encompassing that if I look through any Zodiac sign, I could be like, yeah, I guess that works. And if you like fit with one, they're like, exactly. Uh, you've been invited to a party where you don't know anyone. How do you handle it? This sounds miserable. Introduce myself. No. Ask someone I know to please come with me. Hang out in the corner and worry that no one will talk to me. I find someone hot to flirt with. Uh, it's in between these. Um, well, here's the first start. Yeah. Um, first off, who invited me? How am I going to this party if I don't know anyone? I I'm asking someone to please come with me. Which of these natural elements are you most drawn to? <gasps> Earth, water, fire, air. I did that in the wrong order. Um, I like air, I guess. Why did your last relationship end? My advertisement. Wait, let me think about what my last relationship with before my wife. Uh, oh, I was sexually assaulted. Where is um, where is that on the, the list? That's a whole story. Um, now we're getting real. I don't know. I don't like to talk, but there's like this weird stigma that like guys can't be sexually assaulted. Well, I can tell you that's not the case. Anyway, um, I didn't feel secure. I couldn't forgive. I guess I couldn't forgive. Working on her magic. Oh, that's not very many questions. Okay. Just show me the... Oh, oh, okay. It's just trying to get me to sign up for the... Okay. Show me the next question. What's my dream job? <laughs> Brain surgeon. The heck? I'm not that smart. Oh, oof. Um, none of these. If I guess, I'd have to say entrepreneur. Because I guess that's kind of what I'm doing. What's your ideal first date? Honestly, for a first date, it depends on how hard I'm trying to impress this person. 
but I think most of my first dates have just been like dinner and something. You decide to order out for dinner tonight. What do you get? Oh, that's not even a pizza. I don't even need to see the other options. Which reality show do you feel like binge watching tonight? I don't watch reality shows. If someone were to call you a contradiction, it would be because you're, oh, this is like, I show up to the interview and I'm like, my biggest flaw is I'm just too much of a hard worker, <laughs> you know? Innocent yet daring, conservative yet sensual, charming yet apathetic. I'd like to think that. Optimistic yet secretly. S they had to go there, huh? <sighs> well, now I feel depressed. Oh wait, I already am. I guess I'll say that. Everyone has bad habits, so what's yours? Uh, I have a hard time letting things go. I always assume the worst, and I can never make up my mind. But I think of all these, the most egregious one I have to deal with is probably never making up my mind. Pick an animal, any animal. So you have every animal listed? I don't think so. So it should have been pick an animal out of the ones we've listed. Uh, is there a gorilla? If not, what? I'm immediately b polar bear, ape, chimpanzee, gorilla, whatever they want. Do you see that? Elephant, zebra, no. I guess if I have to, I'd say eagle. Oh, is that an eagle? I need to work on that. Which of these words best describes you? <laughs> Outgoing, yeah. Compassionate, determined, reliable, adventurous. It's like between determined and compassionate. I'd like to think I'm reliable, but that's kind of for someone else to tell me. Maybe I'm not. Which celestial body do you feel most drawn to? Uh, Uranus. <laughs> nice one. Ah, uh, none of them. You're headed out for a night on the town. What sounds the most fun to you? Not heading out for a night on the town. <laughs> I need the nicest cocktail, but I don't drink. Playing a sport, that sounds fun. A house party, absolutely not. An art gallery or museum, you've seen one, you've seen one. I'm just not big on them. Getting coffee with a friend, that's nice. I just like to get food with friends. What's your favorite kind of weather? Ooh, I know this one, rainstorm. Pick a topping for your pizza. Sausage, pepperoni, and jalapenos. Any and all meat, close. But if I had to go for anyone, pepperoni would be the first, let's be honest. What's your morning beverage of choice? Agua, hydro, homies. Bro okay, how many questions? You just screamed, fudge. Why? I'm just really happy. Do you have tattoos? No. How do you feel about plastic straws? What kind of question is this? So I just, I want to get, I want to get to know you. What are your thoughts on, um, plastic straws? Answer carefully because this is a deal breaker. Pick a music genre. Jazz. Pick a quote. Oh boy. Be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. Be the change that you want to see in the world. We accept the love we think we deserve. Life is what happens to us when we are making other plans. Hashtag relatable, am I right? Um, I guess... Uh, yourself, everyone else is already taken, I guess, sure. Someone is getting bullied, what do you do? Join in! Stupid! Sorry. You glance around hoping to make eye contact with another bystander. You stand next to the victim in solidarity. Here's the thing, I've never had this happen in real life and everyone wants to say like, you know, in a burning... In a burning house, there's a kid, would you run in the same But Yeah, yeah, I would. Realistically, almost nobody would. And you wouldn't know until you find yourself in that situation. Well, to be fair, there was a point, um, what was it? I think I, my brother was eighth grade and I was a freshman in high school. And there's this guy bullying my brother on the bus because he was like near a stop where we were. Yeah, I wasn't having that. We got out and um, yeah, I, I, I'm not a very confrontational or violent person, but you mess with my family or friends. We got a problem. And he like punched my brother on the shoulder or something and then was like threatening him further. And so I came up, I just grabbed his like, you know, the, the collar of his shirt and like kind of picked him up. And I said, not quite as much cause you know, despite what movies say, it ain't that easy. Uh, but I said like, if you ever mess with my brother again, you're going to have to deal with me. And you never, me you never mess with my brother again. So I guess that's what I do if it's a brother or a friend. What is your Halloween costume? I don't really. Is there a I don't get dressed up option? Hey, a banana. Why not? You know, I'm just fruit. If you were so, I thought it would end at 40. If you were a social media app, which one would you be? Uh, how about I go with the only one I use, Twitter. Oh, okay, last question. How would you rate this quiz? It was pretty okay. And by that, I mean, it was way too long. I practically forgot my own sign, whatever, because it took so long. What do they think I am? They think I'm a Pisces.
Wrong. I'm a Virgo, dude. I'm imaginative, compassionate, and very accepting of others. You're always willing to hear someone out and give them well thought, practical advice. See, like, like anyone would say, like, yeah, that's me, because yeah, that's me. Although you can be slightly oversensitive, you're extremely popular because you're just so nice. I wasn't that popular. On the flip side, you can be indecisive, self-pitying, and self-destructive. Self-destructive is a bit much. Always looking for a way to escape from unwanted reality, sometimes your laziness can be the direct cause for your escapism. Yet when you have something inspiring in your life, magic can truly happen. See, the, the thing too is somebody's like, oh my God, that's me. Literally, they're just giving me like word for word things based on results. Like, I might daydream at my job. Sometimes your laziness can be the direct cause for your escapism. <laughs> Wrong. My element is earth, so I'd be an earthbender. Color is gray, beige, and pale yellow. Ugh. Couldn't think of worse colors. Are you kidding me? Day Wednesday. Yeah. I was born on a Wednesday. And in September. That's kind of great. Lucky numbers. 14. I was born on 14. I don't like these other ones, though. I think 9 is my favorite number. Dislikes. Just about... Uh, yeah. Well, I'm a Virgo. Well, uh... That took a weird turn, didn't it? It went from, am I brainwashed by corporations to, can they guess my zodiac sign? Hmm. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see me do some other quizzes or anything in specific, let me know what that said. I want to thank you all much for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic day. I'll talk to you in the next one. Farewell.